Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Hi. All right. So, we didn't want to leave you guys with a cutscene that was cut out, even yeah. though I could explain it really well in a week, because that'd be great. I could just do that. So, just... Let's... <laughs> All right. So, we apparently bamfed and... Uh, we, we, were, we flew to 1930-whatever. Yeah. One. And... Yeah. Yeah. So, we're back in the 80s. We're going we're gonna to try to... Well, yeah. And we're trying to try to keep... The Tannen family from taking over come... Yeah, becoming the fifth most dangerous. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So we're creeping along the 1930 streets. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, we saw her. Parker. Parker. Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker? My girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of <laughs> Okay. The abuse, dang. Yeah. yeah. See, I don't think the mafia would do that if like we're going by that system. I think they just fuck murder him, man. Yeah. Well Oh dang. Is mustache really necessary? It's essential. Can't that kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me? You sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper. Oh, that's me. He's saying. Oh, man. He's saying that you don't have a good face, dude. Oh, you got one of those faces. You've heard that term. You me there if you need me. I get that, actually. I hate that. <laughs> like it's like you look like someone I know, somebody that you used to know. Like yeah, they. All right, here we go. Okay, go to the get to the speaky. Okay, so that's in the soup joint. Yeah, soup uh, in the basement. Oh wait, no, they they still haven't made that speakeasy. I remember. Is this? But uh, no, it was it's finished by now. I think we're we're past that point. We came. We're you know a week or two later. Theater. I don't know. I don't think I'm supposed to go in the theater, Ooh, but I'm Frankenstein. Okay. Um. Okay, so why don't we? Okay, so we have like the salon, oh, the other place. Here we go. Uh oh. Sup, girl. Madam. It's gonna make me talk to her. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen Speakeasy, am I right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can't you tell me the way? Down. Straight down. The last stop before the Inferno. Ooh. Cool. She gets fire. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. Ha, <laughs> she's got a Constantina. Whoa. What in heaven's Did the dog build its own oh, ship? Sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Oh, wow. Why is there a dog in that vehicle? Hey, Einstein. Well, to advance the human condition, of course. We left him back there. Yeah, he's oh, just been Harry? chilling. Harry? That's crazy. Callahan, what are you doing in that getup? Uh, undercover. Uh, undercover. Yeah, undercover. Hell yeah. I'm going undercover. Exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Oh. Right now, I've got some souls to save. Got some souls to save. You'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what I and I. Look at them tubes. And a Jacob's ladder for the Shah. Where's that? Pizzazz. Let's go to the gazebo. Let's check that out. Um, yeah, let's let's see what he's doing. You think? Yeah. All right. Come on. All right. What's the worst he's ever done? Oh god. Harry, you're just in time. Uh, what you doing? What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio controlled car? No. Well, yes, but there'll be so much more than that. 
It will amaze the world. It'll be a fungineering. Uh, how you been, dude? How you been? Yeah. How you been? How you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full time to a life of science. Well, good for you. Thanks for watching, Einie. Yeah, so, man. Uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. Almost as if he's been working with me for years. <laughs> More like decades. Hmm. All right. Aha! Got it! That what? I'll show you. Oh, God. Ready to go, Einstein? Hell yeah. I've is built it, a this, tank. Is this a floating car? Watch this. When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious top <laughs> Yeah? Oh, no, it's got wheels. <gasps> Damn! Einstein! No! Get him out of there! Not to worry. I've got a fail safety check mechanism around here someplace. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. Oh, damn! <laughs> I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. So it looks like I gotta go talk to him. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, can I see him from here? Uh, maybe if you enter the building he was in. Oh yeah, that's true. Flop house door. He went to a whorehouse? Oh, is that what that oh, is? Oh, I don't know. Probably. No, I don't think so. Yeah. No, that's where you... You can, like, rest some in, maybe. Yeah. Or a whorehouse. Or both. You flop it down. Flop it out. Yeah. Let it all hang out. You shake it all about. Hey, Doc. How's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression here or a flop house. How are your investigations going? Hmm. Uh, you're in the park. Yeah. This is awkward. Why didn't you tell me I'd run into your younger self tonight? Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly, your interactions with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. I never had the nerve to perform public experiments like he's doing. No matter. Those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yes. Right now, my younger self is fiddling around out there. Rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the expo. The thing that I, I thought you said you didn't know. Career. Exactly. Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. But eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Why? That says whorehouse. Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the expo. Doesn't I see. So I gotta get him to go to Frankenstein. Dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, no. At some point. During that famous scene when Colin Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the tower, and that bolt of lightning struck. Well, let's just say more than one brain was reanimated that oh. night. Oh. Oh dang. Uh, Save Einstein. Yeah. Emmett's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Einstein's a smart dog, but I just give him the willies. What can we do? Well, that's because dogs really can't see. Uh, like, they see just vertical drops. Uh, where's the DeLorean? Where'd you park the DeLorean? I hid it in a DeSoto lot. Nobody's buying cars these days, so it should be safe. Okay, um... Actually, I think that would cover everything, right? Yeah, I think that that... I don't think we need to ask him about... Really made any progress. Well, get out there and make some. She doesn't blow the whistle on kid tonight. He may never. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Just in case is a clue. Such jerks, anyway. Uh, it's hard to say. Rogue, Neanderthal, T. All right. All right. That's keep your head low. I'll keep an eye out for your grandpa. Yeah, that would probably be the good time to wrap it up then. Oh, really? Already? Yeah. We we said we were gonna be a short one. All right. Well.
And also because I think this is probably a good spot. It gives a nice cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah, I like to give you guys cliffhangers. I I like to <laughs> I like to keep you guys on the edge of your seat. Are you uh, uh God, what's his face from Rocky? Just Stallone. I'm so much just alone. What? Uh, cliffhanger. Oh dang, man. Okay, I I really forgot about that one of all his movies. Yeah, it's important. I he hear. kills a lot of people in there. In cliffhanger? Yeah. Or a lot of people die, not necessarily him. Oh, he kills them. Oh, I, okay. I don't remember. All right. I didn't. Yeah. And also, hey, now we can save. Let's see. <gasps> Yay! All right. Sweet. All right, everyone. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.